three figures now. <laughs> That's better than last year. Kirby, huh? Says it. <laughs> running, <laughs> running a business is hard. And I know, because I, I had a business when I was young and I didn't do well. You know, there's little things you have to think about. I had a courier business and my competitor was better, I'll admit it. I would watch his commercials and the name of his business was Pronto. Pronto Courier, we deliver your package. Pronto. I'm like, that's better. It's better. Because I named my courier business Stop and have a sandwich. <laughs> stop and have a sandwich. We deliver your package after we stop and have a sandwich. <laughs> a little jingle. Stop and have a sandwich. Package <laughs> was on the lunch counter. I didn't do well. I mean, little things, little things, you know. <laughs> But you would think big businesses would know what they're doing, but they do things that confuse me. Like Boeing, Boeing aircraft, they take out 30 second TV ads. I don't get that. I don't get that even a little bit. Is there someone out there motivated to buy a Boeing from a 30 second TV spot? This guy sitting in his underwear in front of the TV. I'm gonna get one! I've been thinking about it! Honey, I'm gonna go get a Boeing! Want me to pick you up a Boeing? Pick you up a Boeing, too! Big businesses do things that I don't get. AT&T, American Telephone, and telegraph. I would have dropped the telegraph part 90 years ago. Are they still trying to impress people with that tea? Oh, you're involved with the telegraph. That cutting edge dot dot dash dash stuff. Is the cable clear across the country yet? Is it clear across? I know very little. I was watching a show called Nova the other day, trying to learn something. I had a thing of, yeah, about string theory. I started watching it at 8 p.m. <laughs> and at 8.03, my brain explodes.